In between all the Fate of Atlantis Episode 3 craziness, Ubisoft also released the blog post that detailed all the content that will be coming to the game in July. So I want to go over that because it does include something that isn't out yet. And I quickly streamed of course the weekly reset back on Tuesday, but I never mentioned it in a video. So I wanted to do that here. Would be awesome if you could leave a like on the video as it shows your support and let's go. There's still time to enter my Helios pack giveaway that will end soon so follow the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win and be sure you are a subscriber of the channel before you enter if you win then i'll reach out to you via the email and when that giveaway is over i will reopen my giveaway for the lawgiver pack that we started a while back when the pack was first leaked because ubisoft now confirmed in the july blog post that we will get that pack with the mount and the armor set and the axe on july 30th so during the weekly reset on that tuesday so it took some time my first video on this pack was in april and now we are of course already in july as I told you before, they delayed the pack because it was still under development according to the official AZ Twitter account. So really weird that it already showed up in the files on the PC. And it looked pretty ready then, as we see in screenshots from Kuan Nirot and in the gameplay from YouTuber Jonathan, who was able to get it to work via the PC version of the game. A link to his channel is in the description down below. So great that now three months later we finally have a release date and I will of course, like I already said, run my giveaway then again. And if you already entered back then, then you should not have to enter again, but we will see when I reopen the giveaway. It's a warrior set by the way, if you didn't know, it had the 20% quit chance with warrior ability set bonus, but I do hope that they change that up. Because you likely agree, right, that that's a pretty boring perk, while they have been pretty creative lately with the recent packs. So maybe that's why they needed more time to actually think of a cool set bonus instead of the one they first had. Because again, the set already looks pretty cool in terms of look. I hope they change the perk from the Lawmaker X as well, because it's also not really exciting. Otherwise, it will just be a set that you want to rock for the looks. We will have to wait and see, but it would be weird if they released the exact same pack as was leaked three months ago, because then I wonder what they changed, what took them so long. The pack will, by the way, release alongside a new lieutenant, Lee Korgos himself. And I can, by the way, confirm that this will not be the final pack that Ubisoft will release. I spoke with the live content director, Bruno, recently, and he confirmed that to me. Sorry for the slight delay on that video with all the things I learned from that interview but I want to put in the necessary time for that one and if you watch this I'm actually in Berlin with some friends so when I get back I will totally start working on that video and get it out as soon as possible. Right now I already wanted to confirm that there will be more packs coming to Odyssey and that there's overall just more coming to the game than I think we all first expected now that the third episode of the Atlantis DLC is out. So, pretty cool stuff, I will have more info really really soon. All the other things they mentioned in the July article are already out, like the most recent 1.40 update, the Helios pack and of course the Fate of Atlantis DLC episode 3. No Lost Tales of Greece mission was mentioned here because as we already discussed in a previous video, we know that the next one will drop in August. And that will be the Old Flames Burn Brighter one, because we still have that trophy and achievement that we cannot earn. So expect that one on a Tuesday in August, maybe the 6th already or the week after, that would be my bet. The weekly resets aren't going anywhere according to Bruno and that's also for, for example, new people picking up the game that they actually still got a living game. So we should totally expect a new weekly bounty and store selection for the foreseeable future. And speaking of that store selection, let's see what Sargon is selling this week. The Swings Lieutenant that I actually don't have yet. We see the level 1 perks here, but when you buy it, it should match your current level. And we also got the boots from the Shark Pack that look actually pretty cool. So might be worth picking up if you enjoy the look. If you started playing Odyssey a few months after launch or never really bothered with the weekly targets for the ships, then you might want to sail out now because the weekly target has a pretty cool purple Cerberus design that you can get if you defeat it. It's a pretty cool unique one, so if you want to get it, totally do it before the weekly reset happens on Tuesday. It's of course pretty easy to kill the ship. Be careful for the two pirate ships, especially when you play on the Nightmare difficulty. 
and that is all really for the weekly bounty that you can also find on the bounty board just like the weekly target quest we need to kill athenian soldiers all over greece including the leaders and archers so going to the arena can be an option and then for the leaders you want to go to the leader houses or to the forts that have leaders in them i always enjoy going back to greece with the newly earned atlantis gear and abilities so this weekly might be a fun thing to do and you of course also get the sweet Oricalca. I will be back this Tuesday with the regular weekly reset stream. And again with more on the future of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And some cool interesting ideas that I want to realize in videos. Regarding the recently released weapons and some other cool stuff. So totally subscribe for everything on Odyssey if you haven't already. Like this video to support the channel. Check out my previous video on a secret item that you might have missed in episode 3. And don't forget the giveaway in the pinned comments. For now, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.